Hey guys, it's Abel with Redbeard Carpentry. So today we're going to be unboxing and putting together a Grizzly joiner that I just bought. It's a 6 inch model. It's also a bench top joiner. So let's get it opened up. So just in case if you were interested, the uh, joiner itself was $265 bucks, plus the $49 for shipping. So that came in, in a grand total of $315 which is by far one of the cheapest joiners uh, on the market right now. So, let's see what we got here. Metal hardware. Some tools. More hardware. Push blocks and a attachment for the dust collection. Nice. Let's see. We've got some plastic on it. So once you get all the uh, plastic taken off of the machine, it's got a fence support that has to be mounted. Uh, to the back of the joiner and uh, the joiner itself comes with six bolts in total and this bracket takes the two longest bolts um, the, the two longest that come in the package so once you have the fence support mounted the next step is it's got this lock and plate assembly that gets held in place by a uh, sliding handle and the sliding handle, it's very important that you put a washer on it, the washer it comes with it. If not, it won't lock down. So once you get your fence cleaned up with all the anti-rust, it's time to mount the bracket assembly to it. And it just takes the four remaining screws that you should have left in your kit. Um, it, the, the set does come with some Allen wrenches. Uh, so you don't actually need any tools. The tools that it comes with is enough to go ahead and assemble the machine itself. So here you can see that I'm sliding the uh, fence with the bracket assembly. I'm sliding it over onto the support dovetails. Once you get to this point, you're ready to stick your fence tilting shaft in position. It also takes a washer and it also takes the handle, uh, but for installing it, I kept the handle off because you don't have enough clearance to actually spin the bolt in position. So you go ahead and hand tighten it, and once you're hand tight, then you can go ahead and put your handle on and put your screw in place. After that's done, you just have to score the fence, and after that, you're ready for your first cut. The machine itself really feels like a high quality machine. It's a lot heavier than it looks. And as you can see here, the cuts are just perfectly straight. I was really impressed with it. And I think it's gonna be a real good fit in my shop. I'm excited to use it some more. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it.